Hello there. How would you like to use MATLAB to create a gesture recognition system? And then when you're all done, simply move your hand with a game control and drive a position on a tic-tac-toe board and play a game. I'm John Petrus with MathWorks. And today I'm here to talk about creating a gesture recognition system using an Arrow data module, Intel FPGA, and MATLAB. First, I'll go through an overview of how the system works and its components. And next, I'll walk you through a live demonstration. Here's a simplified block diagram of the system. Reading from left to right, on the left, you see the Arrow data module. This is a nice hardware solution put together by the Arrow Engineering Solution Center in EMEA. That hardware takes movement and uh, velocity data and streams that to host PC software. The first software module from MathWorks is called Statistics and Machine Learning. It takes the raw uh, 2D data, trains a model, and generates code for it on how to work within the game. The model and the code are then used by MATLAB. MATLAB interprets position and velocity and then determines what the next move in the tic-tac-toe game is and drives the GUI. The two main pieces of the Arrow data module are an analog devices ADIS 16475 sensor platform. This features a precision miniature MEMS inertial measurement unit, which detects the movement. And then there's an Arrow Max 1000 sensor fusion platform featuring an Intel Max 10 FPGA. And this takes the raw data from movement and streams that to the host PC software. So the main software running on a host PC is MATLAB provided by MathWorks. This is really the main engine for math, graphics, and programming. It does all of the analysis, the interpretation of the data, and translates um, into game movement. There are also toolboxes within MATLAB, such as statistics and machine learning, signal processing, communications, and so forth. There are two software pieces um, used within the system. I just talked about MATLAB that processes the data module signals, interprets movement, and outputs a response to the game interface. And then within statistics and machine learning, there's an application within called Classification Learner. And this does uh, exploration of the data, allows you to specify a validation scheme, helps train a model, assess results, and then ultimately uh, you're generating code for the main program. So let's go ahead and start the demo. So here is our main view of MATLAB. Across the top, you see a toolbar. On the left, there's file hierarchy. In the middle is the actual code that we'll be running. On the right, some workspace, and on the bottom, a command window. You can see across the toolbar, when you change to the apps tab, there are different apps you can use to perform your work. And here is our classification learner app that I talked about earlier. So let's go ahead and run the program. So I've set it up so MATLAB opens a viewer on the left and graphs velocity and position. And on the right is our uh, game display. So I hit a recalibration, and then I begin moving. I just moved right. Move left, move down, etc. And then I can move forward or backward to mark X's or O's. And I'll mark an O there. And I'll move down and place an X in the bottom corner. And I'll move to the top right. And then mark that with an O, and our game is over. So let's review and summarize what we've just seen. First, I showed you how to create a simple gesture recognition system using an Arrow data module, Intel FPGA, and MATLAB. This demonstration and system was somewhat simple. 
You can use this as a starting point for other exciting gesture recognition applications like automotive or smart home. Arrow played an important role in uh, the production of this technology demonstration. They are a provider of solutions from different companies like analog devices and like Intel that enable customers to develop production ready systems. For more information, I've listed some links below. The first one is the MATLAB free trial page. The middle one is the analog devices, ADIS16475 sensor platform page. And the last one is the Arrow Max 1000 sensor fusion platform. Thank you for listening.